All right, we've got a few people in the clinic at the moment with ankle sprains from various sports and running, and some of them have also got shin splints. Now, I'm gonna show you some advanced rehab we do for shin splints or ankle sprains, and I'll show you the two different things. That is past the initial stage of using TheraBands and things and doing little calf raises and balance work, all that low-level stuff. This is when it's down the track when you're doing proper strengthening Maybe that person's back running, they're having a few niggles with shin splints, or they're having a few bits of pain around the ankle to help improve that strengthening. Now, this goes past using a ball. It goes into using a band like this around the heel. Sounds confusing? I'll show you what I mean. Sometimes when you're doing calf raises and you want to bias perhaps some tibialis posterior work or something like that, they start working on squeezing a ball. Okay, so they squeeze in the ball to do that. Now, that's all well and good, and we do do that, but when you want to work on one leg, say one leg's the problem, not many people sprain both legs, but if you've got a one-sided ankle sprain, or you've got shin splints on one side more than the other, and you want to bias one side, and you also want to bias whether it's tibialis posterior type medial shin pain, or a perineal, which is on the outside type problem from an ankle sprain or ankle fracture, then using a band is probably the best way to go for that advanced strength thing. So, what we tend to do is put that band down the bottom and put that around your heel because when you put this around your heel, say on one side, you're creating a tension at this point here to pull that ankle that way. Okay, so when you do a calf raise, the tension there will then determine which side of that shin you're working more. Right? You're not necessarily going to move the band, okay? you're going to still do a normal calf raise, and I'll show you exactly what you've got to do. But when you look at that band, there's a direct lateral tension there, which will affect on the other side. So, when I'm on this way here, and I'm going to do a calf raise, remember I want to do one on one side, maybe you're doing eccentric, where you go up on two and down on one, okay? or maybe you're just going up and down on one. What you've got to make sure of first is, you don't let the band pull you out of alignment. Okay, so you've got to stay in that straight alignment. The other thing you've got to make sure you do is keep that big toe down. So when you come up, you don't want the band pulling you over like that and lifting your toe. Okay, so when I say do an eccentric raise, or I might go up on two and stay there, I don't want a band doing that to me. Okay, so I don't want it so tight that it just pulls me out. I've got to have enough tension for the load, but I have to be able to keep that big toe on the ground. So that's really important because we want to teach your body to plant through that big toe when we're doing a calf raise. So when you're this way, when that tension's that way, when you push up like that, I have to work really hard to try and keep my foot in alignment now when I come down again. Okay, so when I'm coming up like that, it's trying to pull me outwards like that, all right? So what I'm gonna do, my bias is actually on this side. I'm gonna use my perineals to do an E version against that band, okay? The band's trying to pull me into there. I'm trying to do that movement, okay? So that will bias me over this side. I'm gonna come up down this way. So if you're trying to work on perineals, Maybe you've got that really weak from a tendinopathy. Perhaps you've got a lateral ankle sprain where you've cracked your ankle over and you're really weak down here now. This is the direction you want to be going for, okay? To create that sort of tension increase on that side, make that work rate on that side more when you're doing a calf raise. And it works out to be a very nice sort of movement. You can feel that tension there and you can really focus on your form which maybe, you know, sometimes when people do these things, they don't really focus on their form too well. So this will be an added benefit to really nail that movement, making sure you push through that big toe. And like I said, you can go eccentric or you can just do single calf raises. Now, what if you've got the other way? So if you've got a shin splint medial side, okay, not an anterior tibialis shin splint, but a posterior tibialis shin splint problem here, where maybe that's weak, it's got a tendinopathy, that sort of thing. Maybe you've had shin splints for a long period of time, you've got very flat feet, dropped arches, whatever, maybe it's post ankle sprain. You want to go the other way, okay? So you want to be going this direction here. So now what's happening is that band, I have to try and, when I push up, now you've got to be careful because now the bands are sort of in the way, if you like. 
when you're doing eccentric, when you come up, now what I can do is really see if I can pull that band out. So the band's trying to pull me inwards, so I'm going to try and pull outwards against the band. So when I pull outwards, when I push up and go out that way, by still keeping the big ton of ground, but lifting that heel that way, I'm going to work harder here. All right? So always with this side, you push up, you keep your toe box or the, the forefoot even. Don't, don't roll this whole ankle out and go into your little toe. That's not the idea. Keep it even there. But you'll see the back of your heel come up because it's fighting that band. You'll see the inside of your heel more than the outside, which means I'm going to work way harder through here. And of course, you're going to work harder probably on your medial gas shock, but you are biasing that medial side strengthening. All right, And when you feel that fatigue, you know you're doing the right job with that. So there's my little tips for perineal versus medial or tibialis posterior pain post-injury. Trying to use that band against the heel to give you that bias left and right. Give that a shot.